Hiya VC, yes, it's me back again with a number, give me 10, 1988. Are you fed up with these yet? I'm sure you are. But, here comes another one. So, um, starting off with a couple of compilations, I think, this time. First off, The Decline of Western Civilization, Part 2, The Metal Years. This was the soundtrack to a movie by uh, Penelope Spheris. Um, it was kind of a rockumentary about the state of metal in the, well, in 88, 87, 88. Um, lots, of, lots of funny interviews with various members of metal bands at the time. Um, but the compilation that came out to accompany the movie, rocks. I mean, you've got all kinds of stuff. You've got a brilliant version of Under My Wheels, which is Alice Cooper with Axl Rose slashing Izzy um, to kick things off. Faster Pussycat doing the bathroom wall. You've got Motorhead, you've got Armour Saint, you've got Lucy Borden doing Born to Be Wild, yet another version I've got of that song. Um, you've got Megadeth, Queen's Reich, Metal Church, Rigor Mortis, and a band called Seduce. Um, top, -notch com top notch compilation and it's and if you haven't seen this film then do because it some of it is hilarious I can't remember who it was sitting in a pool drinking vodka doing this but just all over the shop it was brilliant so if you can watch this um, great compilation soundtrack whatever you want to call it. Another compilation, another metal compilation. Snars on Thrash. I think Cloudy Milder showed this. I think. Maybe wrong. Not sure. Um, but this was out in 88 and you could buy it on the cheap. I don't know. So I thought, I just picked it up. I mean, I like a lot of the, I liked a lot of the bands on it anyway. But there is some absolute brilliant I mean you've got Flotsam and Jetsam which is brilliant uh, Mucky Pup Mucky Pup fantastic I've so got to get their vinyl um, DRI they're a great great band um, Stormtroopers of Death SOD which I've shown in 85 um, Gothic Slam who I actually have an album by um, Slayer's got a live track on it Sacred Reich um and there's just some brilliant tracks on it, like Atrophy, Hades. It's great. And I'm sure you could have picked this up for cheap at the time. I can't remember how much it cost, but it's a great, great introduction to Thrash from the late 80s. Um, lots of great bands on there. Lots different. Much more mainstream. Steve Winwood. Roll with it. I think this is roll with it, isn't it? Yeah, roll with it. Of course it is. Um, I just love his voice. He's got such a soulful voice. Um, I've got to turn it over that way because it's got the tracks. So the big hits off here were roll with it. And in fact, I think it was roll with it because I don't think anything else got in the charts. But this is a really... I mean, yes, it's really mainstream. And... No, it's not pushing the boundaries in any which way whatsoever. But it's just a great album to put on and just chill out to and maybe go drive into. It's great. Really love this. Um, excellent. More metal. Well, rock. David Lee Roth, Skyscraper. Um, this has got some great tracks on it. I mean, Dave the, Dave was just... Diamond Dave was, was such a star. Um, Van Halen wasn't the same when he left. And I think um, in 85 he released an EP which, which had California Girls and just a gigolo slash I Ain't Got No Body, which are both on here. Um, which are both brilliant. I mean, great cover versions. They really are. 
Just a gigolo is just fantastic. Love that song. But you've got things like just like Paradise on here. Um, Hot Dog and a Shake. Skyscraper's a track. It's great rocking stuff. And Headley will hate you. Goth up next. Yay for the Goths. The Nephilim. Uh, Fields of Nephilim's second album. More spaghetti western goth. Now this one has got probably, I think that was their biggest hit, which is um, Moonchild, which actually got, I think, top 30, I think. Look at the weirdos they got on the charts then. Not like now. Um, absolutely great record. Last Exit for Loss is a brilliant song. And Demionada. Celebrate, celebrate. That's a brilliant song. So if you like a bit of goth in your life, make some room for the Nets. Because they were fantastic. Um, next album up. Um, I think it was a bit controversial within the metal fraternity at the time. It is Kingdom Come. And I think... No, I don't know which... Was it their debut? I don't know. But they got slated at the time for sounding, especially Lenny Wolf, for sounding so much like Robert Plant. He was he could have been his twin brother. Um, but it doesn't matter because it's bloody rocks. Get it on. Yeah, it shares, it shares a title with the T-Rex on, which sounds nothing like T-Rex. It is pure Zeppelin rock fury. Um, as is most of the album, to be honest. If you like Zeppelin, you'll like Kingdom Come. Um, as long as you don't mind, basically, what's a tribute band, really. Um, but this is great. I love it. Slayer, South of Heaven. Slayer had got themselves into a corner with um, Rain in Blood. They they had nowhere to go. They produced the fastest metal album of all time. And probably still reigns as one of the fastest. Um, so they had to slow it down. So they did that on this. And I reckon, I know a lot of people don't like this album. A lot of metalheads don't like this album. But I reckon it's, it's a really good album. I mean the track South of Heaven. The riffing on it. The riffing, actually, the riffing on this whole re record is great. Um, Silent Scream, Behind the Crooked Cross, Mandatory Suicide, um, Spill of Blood. It is just riff-tastic. And there's the chaps on the back. Okay. Band Lucy. Affiliated with the Grebo scene. Which, which was prevalent in 88, is the Batfish Boys. And it's this album called Batfish Brew. Um, this is good rocking stuff. It's that it's not metal, but it's definitely um, pretty hard rocking stuff. Um, really good. It should have been so much bigger. I mean, tracks like Velcro, Bre Velcro Beach and um, Sister Jane... The Green Machine, Super Slab. You know what you're getting with this lot. Good old rocking stuff. Loving it. It's on GWR Records. There you go. Um, finish off with a couple of um, female fronted bands. Well, one's an all female band and one's a female fronted band. Um, very, very mainstream by this time. The Bangles. Look at Susanna Hobbs. Look at Michael Steele. Oh, gorgeous. Um, this is sunshiny pop. Um, obviously, it's got Eternal Flame. They're massive, massive number one. Um, but it's got beautiful songs on here. It's got In Your Room, Bell Jar's Lovely, um, Be With You, Gritty Yes is Cool, I'll Set You Free, Waiting For You. It's got some absolutely gorgeous songs, and I think this is a gorgeous album. I know that um, 
vinyl, uh, Richie, vinyl Richie prefers their earlier stuff, which was much more um, sort of alternative in style. But when you get a poster with it, and you think they're as gorgeous as I do, you're happy. Right, okay, just fold this back up again. Okay, and up to the final one, which is kind of a band that were goths, but they were sort of hippie goths, which led to the term Gippy. This is all about Eve, and that is a lovely cover. Um, really tied into the mission. Just some great tracks. It's got... Um, and it Martha's Harbour's on this one, which is their debut album, um, which was their big hit, famous for the monitor breakdown on top of the pops. But it's got some great songs, lots of re-recordings from their indie singles, such as um, Flowers in Our Hair, In the Clouds, um, Every Angel Was a Shh Single, Shelter from the Rain's got Wayne Hussey on it from The Mission. She Moves Through the Fair is a gorgeous version of that track. Wild Hearted Woman. Uh, what Kind of Fool. I personally think they actually took a lot of inspiration from Fleetwood Mac. Because you could probably picture Stevie Nicks singing a fair few of these songs. Or Christine McVie singing some of these songs. Great album. Really good album. Um, and I've never seen All About Eve on the VC. So there you go. I think that's the first. Right, so there we go. Yet another Gimme 10 from 88. Probably, it must be one of my favourite years, single years in music. Um, I think I read in The Melody Maker, David Stubbs, the great David, was it great David Stubbs or Sun Reynolds? Well, one of the two, anyway, um, said, I think they were asked what's the best year in music and they said every year is the best year in music because you've got what you've gone before plus a whole load of great music from the, from whichever year you're in at the time and I still hold that as a firm truism so thanks very much there's another best of giving well not another best of but another Gimme Tim 88 hope you're enjoying this see you soon VC bye